This man is Ryan Rick. He's been doing this podcast now for two years, and this man has reached the limits of his personal constitution. Over the course of this podcast, he has been subjected to endless physical mistreatment and exploitation, with little or no consideration for any resulting conditions. He was forced to eat, which is against his deep and personal faith. He was subjected to embarrassment and shame. And he was tossed into fear and torture scenarios. Ah! I don't like this shit. We're already halfway up. What the fuck's going on here? Not that there's anything wrong with torture. Let me tell you folks, if there is an end to this man's rope, he's fast approaching it. But before we reach the conclusion, we have to turn back a few pages, back to the deep corners of space, where he was interviewing his old friend, Robert Terry. You should just start shooting up heroin if you're not going to exercise, I mean... What's the difference? I don't even know if you do shoot up heroin. I don't know how it's used. I, I just, I maybe that's accurate. Well, you can smoke it or snort it or shoot it or put it up your butthole. It's uh, any of the f four things. So many options. Um, you can swallow it if you're an asshole. But... No, no, exercise is important. It feels good to be in shape, I'll tell you. Because, I mean, after sitting in an office chair for like 10 years, I, I, I would groan just getting out of my car. When I, like, I'm in my early 30s and I'm not even profoundly overweight, but it was like I had to, to like build up the energy to stand up from my car, and which is crazy. And I don't do that anymore, and it feels really good. To stand up from your car? Just, just to get up, yeah to get up out of a chair. <laughs> How many squats do you do a week? Yeah, I'd want to talk to you about that at length in person before I'd want to be on camera doing it. Yeah, it's a smart move. All right. Oh! Yeah. So recently, now this is interesting. I used to, uh... <laughs> Uh, adapting, uh, adapting the, uh, the, the screenplay to the book. That, that's what you're doing now. You're, you're, you're writing a book now about the screenplay. <laughs> I'm writing a book about the screenplay. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing an adaptation. Yeah, I'm halfway through. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, okay. I really like the, the screenplay. Oh, did you, did you read it? I don't... Of course, I, of course. It's very good. I um, remember you reading it. Yeah, I read the damn thing. It, um, you know, I don't remember much of it, Robert. I, I it was uh, some goddamn thing. Yeah, the 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 novel is going to definitely be a richer experience, and it's going to get into uh, more science and prognostication and politics and metaphor. Well, how many pages? Oh, it's not going to be very long, really. I'm probably about two hundred. Well. Okay, so deep copy, Robert Terry, here he is, and um, he's writing a goddamn book now, so there you go, folks. All you 75 viewers, um, go ahead and pick up a uh, get some of that shit. Um, so, okay, well, we're, we're, we're closing it out, Robert. That's it, I guess. Reality tends to bend in favor of the will. Can you yeah. please do it? Please. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, man. It's your turn. 
please. It's done. We've decided this. You would be the the next, and then it's a a circle of life. Yeah, it's an evolution. <laughs> Guess what? It's you now. It's passed on to you. Yeah, I'm so fucking up. Look, good I'm, so, I'm so I'm so fucking one. over it, man. I've run my course, dude. It's done. I'm done. <laughs>